How you doing everybody? This is Alakai. What we've got today is something really cool. We have um, an Uncanny X-Men Dice Masters collector box. Um, I think in the past this was called a setup box. Uh, MSRP is about $25. We've got some critical things. We're going to be opening this up. Um, inside we should find uh, some 20 custom dice, uh, 12 basic action dice, 8 sidekick dice, and uh, 15 cards. We're going to have a special um, alt art or full art uh, Professor X recruiting young mutants. Uh, 10 basic action cards and 4 reminder cards, dice bag, and um, some trays and stuff. So, really, really cool. Uh, first off, what I kind of wanted to show everybody is something that was an interesting find that uh, came up on a website today that I look at all the time called DiceAnon.com. It was found by a guy named Sean Eli and posted by uh, Nick Pham, who's a writer there. Uh, something really cool and interesting. <clears throat> if you look right here where it says collector's box, right about there, we have some unusual dice icon, looks like, right there. It's mixed in with all the others, with all the other ones, and we have an unusual one right there that doesn't really go with uh, Uncanny X-Men. I have never seen that before. And... We have two of them actually. There's another one right there. This one is, if you look at that website, he's got it posted uh, as a possible Sue Storm. This answers a lot of questions about um, uh, Fantastic Three, if you will. We've got it, uh, three of the Fantastic Four in the um, in the sets, but we're missing Sue Storm. This looks like her right here, and. Right here, he's got a picture of the Fantastic Four vehicle. So maybe what we're seeing here are two of the uh, dice icons for an upcoming set. Maybe it was left out of this set. Maybe some modifications were done. Um, we do know that Uncanny X-Men kind of compensated a lot for uh, Avengers versus X-Men's kind of OP-ness and some different uh, imbalances. So maybe in an effort to uh, balance it out, they've eliminated some of the cards that were originally on the print run. Not sure, but if you notice, these two icons don't show up very many other times throughout the entire box. There's a partial of it right there, up in the corner, if you can see, right above Storm's uh, cape. And on the back, it's right here next to his cape here, Magneto's cape. That's pretty much it, though. Um, I don't see any more. But uh, very interesting find. Thanks, Sean Eli and Nick Pham. Now let's go ahead and get to the opening. Um, also, we didn't open uh, any packs because we should be getting packs within the box. Um, I was able to find this today just on a random hunt for Avengers vs. X-Men uh, booster packs that I, I do every now and again. Uh, I was at a comic shop in Southern California and I happened upon this and I thought it was kind of cool and I thought that it would be really neat to open on camera here. So let's do that. Okay, all right. Can we see everything in there? I think we can. So first off, we have a, uh, oh cool, a larger um, play mat, if you will. It's got all the cool arrows identified there. That's very handy. And here we've got a checklist, uh, another checklist of all the cards around candy. So you can check it off and you can see kind of what numbers are where. A little sticker here saying four foil packs are, are below the dice tray. So I guess they have some uh, concerns or people were wondering where they were. Um, this is probably one of the trays right here. It's got little ridges on it like that. And uh, if I can get some dice. Oh, cool dice. Looks uh, like they're grayish tone to them or pearlescent if you will. And all you do is you just stack them you just stack them in the uh, the cards, but at least they keep them very well organized and covered and nice and neat. This is a clear one. It kind of goes on top. I think it's just for protection. Um, oh, we got some uh, some candy. Oh, it says do not eat, actually. Just kidding. Yes, I can't. Anyways, we have uh, dice goes in there. Here's a little bag. Uh, <laughs> once again, um, not of the... Uh, it's okay, I guess. Uh, I probably won't be using it, I'm probably just using it for storage. Um, but I was really chasing these dice, which are really cool. Grayish color. 
It's like a, can you see that there? It's like a grayish color. They're kind of pearly. They're nice because uh, in the last game I was playing in, uh, several times the person I was playing against rolled dice that kind of scattered all over the place and went onto my side. Um, he then proceeded to grab my dice that were fielded and some that were unfielded. And, uh, well, I, I'm kind of, uh, you know, picky about that. I like to have my dice. Um, so I, I like these because they're a little bit different. Uh, we have the cards. What do we got here? Which ones? Orange dice, purple dice, pink dice. We have the reminder cards. And we have the, oh cool, we have a full set of the Uncanny X-Men action cards. And of course, like we were speaking about before, we have the Professor X Recruiting Young Moons full art card. It's got the global one fielded. Search your bag for up to two sidekick dice and roll them. Global, pay a mask, move up two sidekick dice from your use pile to your prep area. Just a really nice looking card. Um, but what I'm seeing is that I don't actually get die with it. <laughs> is that, uh, is that just me complaining? Yeah, maybe so. Um, of all the dice they include, they don't actually give me the dice uh, for this card. Um, so one, a couple things with this uh, little set here is that it's kind of meant to be a one person version of the starter set, if you notice. You don't get all of the, um, uh, of the cool, uh, cards that you normally would, um, you know, those the starter set cards with the two dice, but you do get all the action cards. You get all the dice, you know, the action dice and everything, and of course I'm just complaining that I don't get the dice for that one. That's no big deal. I got tons of them. Um, and you get a the carrying trays. It says it can hold, th it can hold 300 dice. Put that underneath. And there's our four booster packs. Now, I appreciate the fact they uh, tried to elaborate a little bit. These are indeed made out of foil. Um, they are indeed boosters. They, they did mention this foil boosters, but it uh, gave me a little bit of a hope that we're going to see some special edition foil uh, you know, type of cards. I come from the magic world, so that'd be kind of cool if you did. Something a little bit uh, unique, right? Um, if you notice in the beginning of the video, I didn't open any packs. Why? Because I got them here. Let's go ahead and open them up. See what we get. Looks like we got... Uh, can you see the dice there? Maybe so. Namor and Iron Man? What? <laughs> Super rare! Fatality! Burst is double Iron Man's attack value while he is engaged with a villain. And Global is a pay a shield. Target character gains the villain affiliation. That's a super rare, all right. My four packs, I got a super rare, that's great. Namor, the Submariner, five and a shield for X-Men affiliation. If you have at least two other characters fielded, Namor cannot be blocked. Um, I did a video where I featured Namor the Submariner in a common version as being um, one of the staples for your drafting. So it's really, really good drafting because he's got evasion. It's called evasion. But I'm stoked. I got a super rare. Pack number two. Uh oh. Well, there's my. There it is, guys. That's what happens when you get that alt art card. They actually hide the other the die inside one of the packs for you. Kidding. But there's like the most beautiful die, right? Everybody loves Emma Frost. What a chance of me getting an Emma Frost super rare. Bam. Oh, for a second there, I thought it was. But I'll be happy with a rare Emma Frost Graceful. I don't have it, so I'm stoked I got it. It completes uh, one section of my uh, little collection there. When Emma Frost is active, opposing Fist characters get minus one attack, no matter how many Emma Frost dice you have fielded. It's the rare version. And then Professor X recruiting on mutants. So I think that I prefer the uh, the other version of Professor X, but uh, he's just fine. Here's pack number three. Oh, we got a nice little diverse profile here. We got Mr. Sinister and Mr. Sinister arch villain. While Mr. Sinister is active, if your opponent has no villains in the field, each of your characters gain plus two defense. And the next one is uh, um, magic, right? Magic, Ileana Respitina, when magic is knocked out, re-roll her die. 
If you roll a character face, return magic to the field. It's gambling, but it's awesome. She's a great card, especially in, in draft as well. And let's check out our fourth pack. Oh, maybe uh, maybe another Iron Man Industrialist? Maybe another Super Rare? Maybe Magneto. Bam. Well, this is a nice one. Magneto Hellfire Club. While Magneto is active, if your opponent has no villains in the field, he takes two damage each time he draws one or more dice from his bag. I really love this card. I'm going to try to make him work. I'm going to try to build a villain deck. Um, you did see, well, I haven't posted it yet, actually, um, me trying to throw around some ideas for villain uh, deck strategy because in Uncanny X-Men, it has really good synergy. So um, we're going to try to do that. And then we have Iron Man Upright. Iron Man takes one less damage from villains, and Iron Man takes two less damage instead if there's a burst. Pay a shield, target character gains that villain affiliation. Funny thing is, I use him with uh, Magneto, the uh, un the, uh, the Avengers version of him, Sonder Commando. And what he does is he gives a villain affiliation, and what he does is that he makes you re-roll a villain die, or he lets you re-roll a villain die for, like, I think a shield, if I remember right. It's a great combination. Um, those two together, but uh, overall, kind of excited that I got myself another super rare there. Um, let's see here. So overall, value-wise, I mean, uh, super rare kind of pack um, aside, we have two trays. One covers the other one. You can put some cards here. The cards go right in here, if you can see that. Um, so you can bring. Whoa. So you can bring just this box to a uh, an event. There's your team deck. You have your lined up uh, dice here. I'm going to be using this for trades. I'm going to have all my dice uh, here um, organized, ready for trades. I'm going to have my trade cards in there, maybe sleeved. Then I have another one that goes on top for some maybe some other trade dice, or maybe I'll put. Um, uh, my AVX in one and you Uncanny in the other. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that yet, but I have it there. Um, what, four packs? It's four bucks. This thing is $25. $21 for the trays, the cool dice. Um, I don't know, and the felt bag, right? You make your decision whether you think that's a good value or not. Personally, I kind of dig on it. It's uh, The box in itself is pretty nice. It's well colored. Um, I'll carry it around um, for trading and people will know that I have trades. If you need to have um, a play mat, there's one here. It's just made out of paper though. Um, I've already described to everybody on another on a previous video about how to, get, how to make your own mats. Um, that's kind of the one I'm using and I'm looking to put another order in for uh, playing on Google Hangout, which is what a lot of people are doing now. So, anyways, guys, if you hope, if hopefully you liked this video. Hopefully you enjoyed uh, me opening packs. Take care, like, and subscribe. Appreciate it. Thanks. See you next time.